coming on, I'm coming on, I'm coming on, rather, to do a video with my, oh sorry, I'm trying to move my bin out of the way, with my um, design team package for Cheryl Simone Craft. I've had a lot of interest in this, guys. There was a lot of you came on after I'd done my unboxing and said how beautiful it was. So thank you for everybody that has ordered it. Um, it's amazing. Now, I do want to make an album with this, but obviously I've just not had the time yet, guys. And I am planning to do either like a wee mini album or a brag book or something for Christmas. And I'll show you that once it's done as well. However, today I thought, you know what? I'm going to jump out my comfort zone again and I'm going to make some Christmas cards. You heard it here first. Yep, Sam is making Christmas cards. So uh, here we go. Okay, so gingerbread Christmas. Okay, so I've basically all I've dragged out of my stash is a gold piece of mirror card and some of this hunky dory adorable scorable um and the green sort of gingham check and the black gingham check. And then I've also got some of these eight by eight. These are just the craft UK ones, and it they are the red and green and they're really nice actually they're scalloped they're really pretty so i thought you know what why not we will go with them so christmas cards guys not my usual i'm gonna say it right away it's not my usual look at the state of my desk i'm working on <laughs> I'm working with lots of ink lately um but yeah we'll, we'll go with it and we'll see how we get on okay so i thought christmas cards um like I said, they're not my usual genre. I'm just not really into making Christmassy stuff. But I thought, well, even though it's Christmas cards, I want to try and still stick to, you know, what I what I do basically, what like my style. So with that being said, I'm going to do it in a sort of not vintage because the kit itself isn't really vintage, but in my style. So let's go. So again, I've actually got this stencil out as well. That's what I just went and pulled out. Because the base of my card, I want to do a wee bit of work on first of all. So I'm going to use the Antique Linen Distress Spray. And I'm just going to go on. Add on a few wee bits. Okay, just to kind of distress it up a bit. And then... I'm going to dry that. Just to speed it up a bit, really. And I like to kind of bang it to make a few drips as well. You see, it dries really quickly, it just soaks into the card. And it makes this nice like tea stained effect. Okay, I like that. Okay, it's still a wee bit damp there, but there we go. Fine. Okay, then I've got this now. Obviously, I'm not going to put butterflies and things on it, but it does have a couple of wee generic bits. So I'm going to go with that. Now for this, I'm going to go, let me just see. I'm thinking, I want to be quite, um, quite kind of glittery, but, no, oh, actually, wait. <laughs> right, I've had to change the plan. Before I do that, I'm actually going to lay down my paper. Because then I want to be able to stencil over the top of it. So I'm going to choose my paper. Let's see. Probably the ging. Yeah. I'll probably go with that one first of all. Right, I'm going to go with some of the red. So the red checked. It's quite hard guys, honestly. I didn't realise like I don't know why I feel like making Christmas cards is a bit harder. No, we'll go with a black check actually. We'll go with a black check and I'm just gonna rip a bit here. Quite 
sorry to say we're totally winging this but do you know what as much as i'm laughing a lot of the time when i do make stuff anyway i completely wing it because I mean, sometimes you've got a plan, you know, you've got a rough idea in your head, but sometimes you just want to go into the craft room, absolutely switch off and just go with the flow and don't have any plan at all. Um, so that's what we're kind of doing just now. So we're going to go with that on there. Then I'm going to take my, one of my rare earth brushes. And I'm just going to grab, let's see what we've got in front of us. Let's just use what we've got here. Frayed burlap. Will we try a bit of frayed? Will we? Or I've got a wee green actually. I've got a darker green just to bring in Christmas. So we'll go with forest moss. This is an oxide. So we'll just take some onto our brush. We'll just randomly put some here and there, down the edge, like that. I want to really pick out my design for this edge first of all. I like these Santa's and things. That's quite nice. Merry Christmas to you. We've obviously got our sticker sheet as well. Right, I'm going to go with this one, I think. Just because I really do like it. And it's um, standing out to me for some reason on this card so I'm just going to go in as carefully as I can because I do not want to damage any of the other toppers and I'm going to you could go in with a craft knife and cut this out but I'm not going to I'm just going to do it this way Okay, so we've got this guy here. Merry Christmas to you. I'm just going to kind of follow the contour of the actual topper. Okay. Okay, so that's given us a nice topper for on the card I like that actually I want to mount it so I really want to make this to be my focal point of my card so we're going to go in and we're going to mount it on the gold like that just give it a wee second to grab how beautiful is this kit though as much as I'm not really a Christmassy Christmassy person like I said if I was I would definitely choose this because there's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff you can do with it. So, and again, I'll have this all linked in the description box, guys, if you want to go over and purchase it, if you missed it in the first video or you've been waiting to see what I do with it. So, I've got that as my main topper. I want to take the rest of the ink that's left on my brush and I'm just going to go around and add that onto the edge. Like that. Okay, just give it a kind of shadow effect. Then we're going to decorate up the rest of the card. Now I want that to be kind of center, and I know that. Okay, so I don't laugh about guys. I know people um do measuring or they don't stick anything down until they are ready. Uh -uh. I've never been like that. Never ever ever ever. I go in head over heels, and if it doesn't work, do you know what? It's just a bit of card, we will start again. But most of the time, things work out. And you can always salvage things as well if you're not happy with it. Um, right, let me grab a pokey tool because it's dry in here with it being so warm. And this does not want to give up its back in. So let's just take that off. 
and I'm going to put that in the centre there. Then I have got this crackle mousse, Nouveau crackle mousse, and this is in Egyptian gold. So I want to use some of this. I've never used this one before. I do have other colours in the crackle mousse, and it's amazing. So I'm going to put some of this on. Through my stencil. This stuff's so cool. It's different to the other mousse. This stuff's like jelly. But the other stuff's quite hard. So the thicker you put it on, the more crackles that you get. But you still get amazing crackles, even if you put it on thin. So if you guys like doing vintage projects, this is amazing stuff. Crackle mousse. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, and then over here, we'll put on some more. So I'll make this one a bit different, a bit mixed media, and then I'll do another one that's cutesy cutesy. That's cool, eh? I like that. And then here, coming out from there, I'm going to do this. Uh -huh. I like it, I like it. And then pop that to the side and just take off any extra and pop it back in. See with your mousses as well, always keep them. Now there's some mousses that I have had for about three and a half years or whatever and they're still absolutely fine because I wrapped them in plastic. So we'll just let that dry. Okay, that's fine. And we'll let this dry. Now, let me just give this a wee wipe because I don't want this going hard. And you can dry it with the heat tool, but I'm going to leave it just now. So this is how we're looking so far. Quite cool. And then on the sticker sheet, I see, let's see. There's a couple of wee things that I wanted to add on. Merry Christmas to you. And I like this banner. Okay, so it's got like the bunt in. So we'll add some of this. Just because it's pretty cool. Now these are self-adhesive, but if you've been watching me for a while, you know that anything that is self-adhesive, I will always go in and add on some glue just so that it stays where it's supposed to these stickers are really good quality they're card stickers I'm going to put that on there I don't know how well this will show up on camera guys but when you actually see it in real life it's actually shown up quite a lot and then we'll have the green So this would be a nice one to send to somebody that was really quite into their mixed media or um, aye, somebody that was into their mixed media would like this. Now I'm going to take, is this pen working? I'm just going to take this pen and I'm going to add in, in fact that pen's rubbish. Let me see if this one's any better. Yep, so I'm just basically adding in some string in between my bun and like that so that's pretty cool I like that and then hmm. I've got this wee cool sticker here it's like a wee like that And we'll have that coming out for there, like that. I need something here. We'll go with a wee gingerbread house. 
and we'll stick that uh, there. Once the glue dries a bit, we will go in and um, what do you call it? Edge it up a bit. So Merry Christmas to you, and I want something here. back up the forest moss just put a wee bit more ink on not much because that is oxide so it's really strong like that and do you know what i'm going to do as well i'm actually going to bring that stencil back in and i'm going to put in a bit of the forest moss through the stencil Just to mimic that's quite cool I don't know how cool you guys can see that but you'll see it when I hold it up so that's kind of brought that in actually do you know what I think I'm going to I want that a bit darker when I actually see that like that it looks really nice um use this old pad that I've got <coughs> this is the one that I use for just to darken it up a bit <coughs> excuse me that's better I needed it you couldn't really see it and I wanted it to there we go be quite dark so you could actually see it That's pretty cool, quite like it. Let me just get a scrap piece of paper to clean my brush. That's all you need to do with these brushes, guys, is literally do that and then you're ready to go again. So I'm liking this. I like the way that it's looking. As I say, it's nice for somebody that's really into mixed media and things like that. I think we're going to add in a wee bit more. So this is the vintage photo. So it's a bit darker. We'll add in a bit more of that. Quite like that. We've got these wee things as well. Not sure if any of these will be baking spirit sprite. Quite nice. It's a wee gingerbread house, so more bunting, candy cane kisses, the Christmas wishes. No, that's cute. It's another one of the wee houses. I could maybe have that there. And could have the tree. We could use the tree. No, I like that. Beacon Spirits Bright. So first of all, I'm just going to go back into the forest moss. Take a wee bit and just drag that over it just to match it in. And then I'm going to do a little bit there and a little bit there. I'm just kind of have this on an arch like that. Okay. So like that. And then I'm going to go with this other wee house. This is one of the tags. I'm just going to cut this out, just fussy cut it. Whenever you're ready. Got that stone stuck in my head today. Okay. I like that. Cool wee good. He's pretty cool. I'm just use a wee bit of green again. And I think this one will actually raise it up a wee bit. 
um, <clears throat> just to make it stand proud of the other one. So I'm just going to put a wee bit of foam on there. And that can go there. So you've got like the two houses. I'm not happy with this bunting. I want it to stand out a bit. Although, saying that, oh no, it is, it's alright. I was going to say it's not going to take on it, but it is. I thought with it being like shiny cardstock, it would not, but it is. So I just want to highlight them a wee bit because I felt like they were getting lost. And I'll just put the bit in between as if it's hanging up like that. I definitely feel that that's a bit better at standing off the, the card now. So I like that. I've never done a mixed media Christmas card before, do you know that? First time for everything I guess. Told you this was taking me out of my comfort zone but I've, <laughs> I've kind of dragged it back in. To where I want it to be um, I will do a cutesy cutesy as well guys but I really like just taking it because Christmas you wouldn't necessarily think you know like grungy mixed media or things you always think cutesy or religious or do you know what I mean so yeah quite happy with this actually this is taking this direction I had no idea where I was going to go with that absolutely none whatsoever but I'm quite happy with it where it's turning out just shows you but no matter what I mean you could have something that is really cute like this and you can absolutely put your own stamp on it make it yours which I love okay so we've got the wee tree now Cut that out of the tags. Where do I want that? Here, coming up from here. Oops, come on. There we go. There's me Christmas tree. And that kills. It actually turned out like a bit like a wee canvas. And then I'm going to put that wee guy down there just because it's his house. It's his gingerbread house. So he's like, I'm coming into this picture because it's actually my house. <laughs> okay. Okay. Like that. And then we'll use some of the enamel dots. Just because, do you know what? Why not? We might as well. We went full on with this, so we might as well. So we'll go with a uh, green and this beautiful moss green colour. We'll go with a red. Will we? No, we will not. We'll go with a white. And we'll go with a black. There we go. Isn't that cool? So if that was sitting on your mantelpiece, somebody would be like, wow, that's, that's completely a different Christmas card. But it depends who you send it to as well. If you're sending this to a person that is absolutely mixed media obsessed and likes doing that kind of crafting, then it's perfect for them. So I'm just going to edge the edge in black just to kind of bring it all together. Cool, that's kind of brought it all in now as an actual card and then um, I was going to put in um, like a what do you call it 
an insert but because there isn't that many sheets of the paper I don't want to waste it so I think there's loads of tags Christmas isn't a season it's a feeling I'll go with that on the inside and just write on the actual card itself There we go. Okay. So that's card number one. You can let me know what you think of it. I actually think it's pretty cool. It's turned out pretty cool. I'll put pictures of it on, um, you can see it's starting to crackle now. I'll put pictures of it of, on my Instagram, but I do really like that. I think it's turned out really quite nice. And as I said, depending on who you give it to, it's going to be appropriate. So that's the first one. Okay. Then we will make a cutesy cutesy one. I'm going to go with green this time, but I'm going to bring the card size down so it's less canvassy. I'm going to bring it down to my favourite size, which is six by six. Six. Oops, come on. Six. Oh my gosh, I've not cut that very well, have I? Go. Six by six. Okay, it's pretty cool actually. So it's left this, but I'm going to take that off. I don't want it just to be on one edge. So we'll do two cards together, right? Why not? And obviously we're going to use these bits because I'm not going to throw them away. Okay, so we will go with a red one and a green one and we'll make these as cutie cutie pie ones okay i can't do cutie cutie pie ones guys i just i don't know all right okay so we've got the red and we've got the green let's do these together then <coughs> make it comfy right okay let's do it two cards at once i'm going to bring this back in and i'm going to use Will we use it like that? Or will we use some black? We'll go with some black first of all. So this is just some black conkidori. And I'm just going to mark it. So I am back in the office tomorrow for the first day in over a year, or just about a year, um, which is a bit like, oh my gosh. But yeah, it's basically called a touchdown day, so we will eventually be going back into the office hybrid working. Um, so this is just our first day, and I'm looking forward to it, but I'm really, really nervous as well. So my anxiety has been through the roof today, so I've not been on the phones, I've not been talking to anybody, I've just been trying to take it really, really easy. But I knew I had to do this video because obviously it's a design team um, res like responsibility. So, got the green on the green and I've decided to go with the black on the red because I think that looks nicer. So we'll just go in and we will mount these onto here. Just basically a really easy bit of matte and layering, like so. Isn't that cool? We can make these as tent cards actually, let's do that. Let's make them as tent cards, why not? <laughs> Honestly, it just comes into me and I think, right that's it, I want to do it as tent cards. Don't know why, no rhyme or reason, just because I think... That'll look nice. How on earth did that end up smaller than that? 
never mind that's the way it is and that's the way it's going so i've just marked it slightly smaller so we've got that one and we've got that one both of them are going to be 10 cards so on the red we're going to use some of the poinsettia so let's mark it here and here because we've already got some of that used so we might as well use some more of the sheet did that move there did that just squint who knows who knows who knows and we'll go with that one okay so we've got the poncetio and then we will go with what will we go with this thing let's go with something cutie cutie something cutie 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 could even just use one of the wee sentiments which we might do but go with something really super cute like the gingerbreads which is gorgeous so again i'm just going to mark it where i want it like that some of our having here in Scotland guys honestly it's the first time in years we can actually say we've had a summer so I'm really hoping it stays like this through August because I'm going to be on holiday okay so let's what I'm going to do is just edge these bits of paper in the black it just gives them an extra bit of dimension and it makes them stand out against its matting layer it's the wee trick that I have learned over the years do the same with the both of them. You can do it with an ink pad as well. Okay. Now usually I would use tape runners, but because I'm going on to the adorable scorable and it's slight gloss, I'm going to use my glue. Make sure that's the right way, which it is. So see what I mean about the black? It makes it stand off. And then we'll go in with the poinsettia. So you can see I've barely touched anything in this kit. I've got tons and tons of it. So you could probably make all your Christmas cards out of this. And I am planning to make that be brag book as well. And there's tons. I mean, you think you get 12 sheets of paper, you think, oh, that's not going to be much. But when you start making it, guys, you see how much it really is. It's amazing. So then I'm going to go with the sticker sheet again. Okay. And I want to make it super cute here. And I'm going to choose this one. So I want Santa Claus is coming to town. So I'm just going to take this out. You can do this with your trimmer if you want, if you're not confident with your scissors. I'm just going to trim it out. Okay. Cute as can be. And we'll also put this. Oops, put that over there. I'll also put this on as some of the adorable scorable. Okay. So you can see how quickly these go together as well. So, I mean, if you've just got a few hours and you think, right, you know what, I'm actually going to get some of my Christmas stuff made up then again this kit is amazing for that so i'm just going round actually that border's a bit thick let me do this on the trimmer just so because i want it to be really quite thin there we go that card makes your eyes go funny <laughs> i'm going to do this on a bit of a jaunty angle santa claus is coming to town you can put this on a um, foam pad as well if you wanted to. But I'm just going to keep this flat because I'm going to put my wee Santa 
pads. So you've got Santa Claus is coming to town. And then on my sticker sheet, I've got Santa here. So I'm going to take them off the sheet. And I'm going to put them onto foam pads. Just to raise them up a wee bit. You can see all the um, ink coming off my fingers on the glue on the back. So there he is, Santa Claus. You want to start singing when you say that saying, eh? <clears throat> okay. Here, but this we did. And he is going to go there. So just waving to everybody. Santa Claus is coming to town. So that's him. And then again, I'm just going to put on some of the wee dots. So I'm going to go one, two, three. And I'm going to go black for the largest one. This glue dries clear, which is a good thing. We're going to go black. We are going to go green. Next size down. Take some of that glue off actually. There we go. And then we're going to go white. And again that glue will dry clear. So you won't see that. So that is that. And that's super cute. Um, I think I'm going to add in some... Let me see. Some glitter. We'll go with some silver glitter, just some silver nouveau. We'll put a wee bit along his coat because it is Christmas, so you want it to be sparkly. Along his coat. And we'll put a, a few dots in the middle of the pond set here. There we go. Yeah, I think that's nice. And again, really cute, really simple. You didn't have to do anything else. You can put in a quick reinsert. Um, I would just really put in a white insert in that, but that's that one, just made with a kit on its own, a wee bit of glitter, and that is it. So that's that one, completely different to our first one. So you can see how different we can make this. And then with this one, we're going to make this cutesy as well. Let me think. So let's see. I just want to bake stuff and watch Christmas movies. That's what we're going to go with this. And that's what I like about these kits as well. Like because they are so coordinated. It takes all the thinking, so you don't have to worry if I've got something that's going to match it. Obviously, if you want to go through your stash and you want to add something else in, then you absolutely can, but you do not have to if you don't want to, which is amazing. You can just use what we have already got. And you guys have probably got tons of Christmas stuff in your stash anyway. Or if you're like me, maybe you don't, maybe like, maybe that's why you like these kits, because they've got everything in it and you don't need to have anything else in your stash. So yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to put this on here. Just mat it up again, just to tie everything in. So I mean, you could sit here, I could sit here for two or three hours just going through using every piece of paper and stuff in the kit really utilizing it all and making all my christmas cards if i wanted to but i'm not going to do that because i do want to make a wee um rag book okay again super simple let's go to the sticker book have we got a gingerbread man yep we do That's really cute actually, but I've just seen, they've got this cookie jar as well. I think we'll put the cookie jar 
put this back on the nest. It's a good thing about them being sticky, you can just put them right back on. So I've got the cookie jar, I'm just going to put on a wee bit of foam. Just to give it a wee bit more interest. Raise it up a bit. Love this foam tape. I always get questions on it, guys. It is from Crate and Craft. You get three. Now, that's it practically finished. It's massive when it comes. Um, It comes in three. And it is on Crate and Craft. And it is by Dawn Bibby. And it's amazing. I wouldn't use any other. Now, once you find one, you know what it's like. You find one, you want to stick to it. Because you love it. So, we'll put that there. And then, we will bring out a wee gingerbread guy again. And I'm just going to put him there, but I'm not going to raise him. I'm just going to put glue and put him there. Oh, and you've got your retent card. That is so cute. And we've got a wee sign here that says Merry Christmas. Uh -uh. This time we're going to go in with another three dots. We're going to go in with red. This time. I've got glue and ink everywhere. Red. That's cute. We will go in with green. The lighter green, just to tie in the lighter green from the... Um, checked and then go on with white and there we go smudge the glue but as I said that dries clear so it doesn't matter and then again we will go in with some um, <coughs> glitter so I've got the silver they are but what are we going to go with what are we going to go with um, I don't think I've got any gold glitter. No, I haven't. So, what will we go with instead? Um, sorry guys, I'm just trying to think. I need to get some more glitter drops actually. It's one of the ones that I've not got as many. I'm going with this wee red one. It's a kind of pinky red and we're just going to, oops, take that off. I'm going to put some on his buttons. And we'll put a wee bit on the sweets in the sweet jar. Just to make it a wee bit glittery. Yep, and that is it. Simple, easy, easy peasy. So you've got, let's see now. We have got this tent card, which was super easy to make. We've got this tent card. So two big cutie ones, okay. And then, so they're six by six, or just under six by six. And then you've got this huge eight by eight, sort of, um, what do you call it? Mixed media. Yeah. So that's it. So let me know what you think of these guys. And obviously you can check out everything down below. Thank you again to Cheryl for sending these to me. And <laughs> knocking me out of my comfort zone. But yeah. Thank you for watching. And I will see you again in the next video. Check out everything down in the description box if you like it. Thank you. Bye.